I'm out here in these beautiful surroundings. Look at that. Just gorgeous, eh? All right, we're gonna go growl to the beasts, so uh, we'll get a little video on for that. One's an old one, one's a pretty good sized one. Just giving them some time to giving them some time to walk off. This rock ledge just above the deer. They were both between 30 meters and a little, some were a little bit closer, but it was mostly hinds. And the two stags that I were after were uh, just a bit beyond that, but further up. So I had gotten too close to back out without being seen, so I had to wait for the stags to basically give me a good uh, shooting position to then uh, take them. And uh, so we're going to go, go over and growlic, start the growlic, and uh, but just going to enjoy a little bit of peace here. Uh, beautiful day. Got caught in some heavy rain and the forecast was sun, so we uh, had glasses today. But <laughs> I was waiting for those stags to get in a good position. The rain was coming down, that was just a tough time to see, but then the sun came out, slowly started to dry off the glasses and the lens uh, with the telescope and the binos. You can see clearly again, but uh, yeah, great day. Now the sun's just come out after the after so one thing I forgot to point out was that this rock, this is the rock that I use as a shooting platform, and it had this perfect little indentation for my bipod to sit up against. So, yeah, that was cool coming across that little natural indentation. It was like a perfect shooting spot that was put put there uh, uh, just for me. So I started the hunt all the way down there uh, by that dam, across the wee bridge, and there was deer up on this hillside. So I actually followed the course of the river. And then came up, <coughs> pardon me, there's a gully just beyond that hill, this rise here. So I crawled up there and then followed the weaving here to come to this this valley here. And uh, this was actually, I crossed right around here and that was very treacherous, but the deer were moving and so I didn't have much time. And then uh, oh, I placed my stick here before, as you can see, there's just the ridge, so I crawled along here. And the deer were very close, so I had to be very quiet, very slow. And uh, crawled along these rocks right to this shoot position here. And uh, uh, if you see that that deer were right right along here and against that rock here, a lot of hinds, um, about 15 or so. Or, and then there's a couple more down here, and then the stags are right around here. So uh, let's go, let's go again. What a view, eh? What a view. Let's go see these guys. See what they're like. Oh, couldn't, uh, couldn't be in a better place, you know. Just feel so alive here. Just so grateful to breathe the fresh air, move, move my body. 
witnessed beautiful, beautiful animals in nature, and uh, just so grateful for it.